Welcome back. This is the third and final part of our three-part series about creating a drone program for your business. In the previous two videos, we discussed an introduction to getting started, which included considerations, compliance, and recommendations on software. If you haven't already seen those videos, we highly recommend you check those out. The links are in the description below. Now, in the final episode of our series, we want to focus on the industries we touched on in the last video and how each industries can get the most out of their drone operations by utilizing some powerful software and techniques. Let's start with search and rescue. Now, besides the obvious use of a thermal drone in an emergency situation, the enterprise drones are now being used in a combination of more complex strategic uses. A quick mapping mission and deployment will enable you to get a high resolution map or terrain model, which you can provide to an authority to aid in their search and rescue effort. This can assist in visually showing possible ways in and out of difficult to reach locations, for ground teams or to help spot areas that can land rescue helicopters. This mission can be quickly planned using software like DJI's Flight Hub 2 to map the area of interest quickly. Flight Hub 2 also allows for real-time updates and mission live streaming across the entire team, making it ideal for search and rescue agencies. A recent example of drone utilization was a missing snowboarder that was found using the aid of the M30 and Flight Hub 2. The location was remote and the snowboarder was able to briefly communicate with search and rescue. However, he couldn't identify the trail he used. Plus, due to the remoteness, his GPS was unreliable and eventually they lost communication altogether. Going off the limited information given, they set up a search area and within 10 minutes of flying, the thermal camera picked up his heat signature and then was able to hover over that location to guide rescuers to his exact position. After he was located, the drone was then able to plot a safe way out of that location as it wasn't safe for him to go back up the mountain. The data the drone collected was then plotted into a map software and sent to everyone's phone for a safe extraction. Inspections are another area where drones are becoming increasingly popular for their efficiency, with an array of high quality photos being easily generated from hard to reach places, such as mobile towers, power lines, or chimney and flare stacks. One thing that's super important in inspections is knowing exactly where the damage or faults are located. That's where using good modeling software comes in. It uses GPS coordinates and elevations captured in the drone image to create detailed models to show exactly where the problems are geographically and in relation to the structure of the area. A great example of use of drones and modeling software in inspections is the case of the Werribee Mansion in Victoria, Australia. The mansion, which is a heritage listed building, requires a comprehensive inspection to determine the damage and which areas require restoration and maintenance. Furthermore, the use of AI in inspections has made identifying defaults and faults even more efficient. Scopito's AI inspection software, for instance, can annotate faults in inspection images quickly and accurately, saving human time and making inspections more thorough. Now, let's talk about energy. Nowadays, there's a growing emphasis on green energy sources like wind turbines and solar power, which are large structures and have a huge geographical footprint. Take solar energy, for example. Solar power plants can be a real challenge to inspect every single panel accurately from the ground and also at the right atmospheric conditions. The panels need to be surveyed at a certain time of the day, usually when the sun's radiance levels are optimal and the angle of the solar panels set to just the right tilt. The quickest and most efficient way is to use the Mavic 3 Thermal. With its radiometric thermal camera, a waypoint mission plan can be created and sent on an automatic path to detect any heat variations or damaged parts of the panels that could then affect the overall efficiency of the plant. When first responders rush to the scene of an accident or a fire, their top priority is to assess the situation and identify who requires immediate attention. But figuring out what caused the incident is just as crucial. For instance, in the case of a car accident, it can be tough for first responders to access hard to reach areas. That's where the enterprise drones can fly to these difficult spots, even use the speaker module to communicate to or provide additional lighting. Crime scenes need to be preserved for investigative purposes. 
Accident reconstructionists use data collected by drones to create highly accurate 3D models of the accident scene. These models can show the location of the vehicles involved, skid marks, and any other important details that can help investigators determine the cause of the accident. When it comes to the oil and gas industry, the loss of income on a shutdown day is far too significant. Drones are now an integral part of the oil and gas industry. They're minimizing downtimes and increasing safety by putting drones where it would otherwise be dangerous for workers to go, such as near flare stacks, confined spaces, in elevated positions, or even under platforms. The DJI M300 RTK can also be equipped with sensors like the L1 LiDAR payload for more precise surveying and mapping data. This technology can also help inspect infrastructure such as bridges, power lines, towers, or pipes over long distances with accuracy and precision. Even when looking to expand into new areas, the LiDAR capabilities can be used for exploratory purposes when looking to expand or to investigate potential new sites. Due to the nature of the technology, LiDAR can penetrate through vegetation canopies and capture point cloud data of the terrain under the canopy to assist in exploration and for planning purposes. The ground surface data can also be extracted to generate a highly accurate digital elevation for topographic maps. Enterprise drones are a game changer in the mining and earthworks industries across the world. High resolution aerial pictures can be utilized to reconstruct 3D visualizations of stockpiles, quarries, and open cut mines with centimeter accuracy. You can determine slope gradients, cut and fill calculations all by one simple survey mission. Paired with the DJI Flight Hub 2 and DJI Terra, your drone survey can be used to track the progress of earthwork projects and make high resolution maps, ortho mosaics, and 3D models of the site over time. This data can also help stakeholders manage and prioritize production workflows, as well as help discover potential safety hazards. Builders, developers, and architects can also benefit utilizing drones. So these include construction progress imagery, virtual reality, 360 panoramas, security monitoring, occupational health and safety management, intended views for marketing purposes, plant and equipment inspections, and stockpile measurements. The use of drones in construction can also lead to savings in both time and money. On a recent case study in Britain, a high-speed railway project estimated that they would have saved over five million pounds by utilizing the Mavic 3 Enterprise. Even though drones have been used previously for these types of projects in the past, the fast interval shooting times on the Mavic 3 Enterprise has halved the operational man hours, reducing the overall carbon footprint and eliminating risks over the five year construction period. This has made a significant impact for the overall job from a cost and efficiency point of view. Drones equipped with thermal and zoom cameras like the Mavic 3 Thermal, M30T and H20T are a fantastic tool for environmental monitoring, protection and management. In Australia, the endangered species list continues to be an area of concern. We have specialized drone operators tasked just to count possums, koalas and other species of animals. Australia's ecosystem is quite unique. Drones such as the Mavic 3 Multispectral has been used to identify and distinguish introduced species of weeds through drone surveys and using AI software. In Switzerland, there is a unique case whereby baby deers would sleep in the long grass to avoid predators. However, their lives were threatened by farmers harvesting the grass while they hid from danger. The use of a thermal camera on a drone allowed the farmers to detect the deer's location and allowed them to move the fawn to safety before the harvesting continued. The use of drones in these industries have proved to be a very powerful tool when used correctly and in conjunction with great software. Drones are well and truly here to stay, and as the technology advances, more businesses are adopting these as an integral part of their workflows and service offering. So there you have it. I hope these videos have helped and will assist you in getting your drone program off the ground. Here is a handful of useful software that we referenced in this video. Go check those out as a great starting point. My name is Aaron Rajamani. Thank you for tuning in and we hope that this series has provided valuable insights into creating a successful drone program for your business or workplace. We'll see you guys in the next one.